I'm joined by Lucid and Shaw. What brought your interest into DAI? I think I'm working backwards from like the ideal future that I imagine. And I think that a lot of people have this vision of there's clearly a far future where um, compute is super abundant. Every device we have that's powerful is, is very powerful and is contributing to some kind of larger like collective AI thing happening. Tokens are just like part of the communication between AI systems. We have control of our own data, but it's also like this you know, it, it, take all of the ideals we want in our world to own our own data, have our own wallets, have self-sovereignty, to have, uh, you know, our communities be uh, like, like sources of income and security and stability and these kinds of qualities. And to imagine like a future where it, like technology is making our lives much better. And then how do we work backwards from that? And I've never seen like, I feel like crypto, AI, all of like social media, all these different technologies are really the same technology. They just all like, you know, they, they're all converging on something. And we can see in the future, like this is clearly a beautiful thing. This is the reality we want. And so how do we actually get there? Um, and I, I actually, I really appreciate the large uh, cloud providers and all these people, but they have perverse incentives against certain things. Like they're really good at sharing their models, but that's because they want mind share. And they're not really good at like giving us ownership of our data and control over the entire stack in the way we might want. Um, and I just want to see that world come to exist. And I feel like we have to be the ones who build that. And I've tried a bunch of different entry points, but it turned out that Web3 was really the place it needed to start. I think it's really important that for people to answer the questions that really matter, that they be financially free. And so I think we have to start with financial freedom and addressing like a lot of the problems that are very middle future, not far future, beautiful, but middle future, a little bit uncomfortable, especially things like what do people do when all of the jobs are automated? Um, what do we do? And I think that's a combination of like changing our, like changing how we all live together and, and just building the solutions to that ourselves, which is I think what, what Web3 really embodies is like, you know, you just have, no one's coming to save you. You just have to build the solutions yourself and we're going to do it together. And like it had to start there, but obviously it's going to spread way beyond just blockchain is just the roads and the streets of this, this much more beautiful thing. We just have to get through that middle future. So, I mean, that's my role in this, I think, is to try and make sure that part goes well. For me, years ago, it started as a sort of uh, SEO and digital marketing company. And through that process of just learning how much data is harvested by these large companies that sort of serve it back to us to create the experiences we have, it seemed like a huge issue to me that wasn't scalable and was eventually going to become incredibly unpopular. So I saw that as a necessary um, evil that needed to be dealt with. And so we're starting to see it now as we scale up AI and it becomes a super powerful thing. You know, these are growing concerns. So I think we can't really get around that until we end up solving it.